Let's see what the mighty prophet has to say this time. I wonder what, what, how many quests we have left of the main story. Vestige, meet me at the harborage. We are ready to reclaim the amulet of kings. Yes, ma'am. Oh, get. Okay, I guess I'll go around because uh, I guess this dark elf here can't jump that little tiny little uh, rock fence. But okay, so we are on Shadow of Saint Kator. A projection of Varen appeared to me. When I arrived in town, I should listen. I should listen to him and hear what he wants, of course, because that's exactly what he wants. I don't want to read that, so there you go. Harbridge, so sh Shadow of Saint Kator. I think we're at the end because, I mean, we're getting the Amulet of Kings, right? We should be at the end of the main story. The only thing I could think of that's after this is probably just taking out, uh, Mana Marco. And then, of course, maybe Molag, uh, Molag Ball. Hey, look, everyone's here. Including good old Sai Zahan with his gigantic sword. Alrighty. Hey, Baron. And so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong. And now all the world suffers for my hubris. Hmm. Now that we have a chance to make things... Uh, now we have a chance to make things right. Perhaps, <clears throat> but I wonder. Will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. Destiny can crush us by fulfilling our wishes just as surely as it can by denying them. Tell me about Sankator. It was a holy city in the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. Before its capture, Saisahan hid the Amulet of Kings in the catacombs beneath the city. Uh, so where is this place located, Miss, uh, the Sankator location? It is in the mountains of Calavia, the land of my youth. I have little memory of that time. My exposure to the Elder Scrolls stole much of the man I once was. Speak to Sizerhan. He can answer your questions far more accurately than I. Okay, sounds good. So, Sai, uh, I need to talk to you, apparently. Time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sankrator. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. Will do. Ages past, Sankrator was a place of light, but I fear that is no longer the case. Must be prepared for anything. Tell me he does not look freaking awesome. Like everything about him is a cool man. I, I like him. Uh, have you fully recovered from your wounds? Last time I saw you, you were pretty beat up, man. I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great oaks of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. Okay. What's our plan then? My Lord Varen will open the gateway to Sankrator. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic. A ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. Um, well, first things first, tell me more about Sankrator. It is written that Alessia received the divine inspiration for her slave rebellion at Sankrator. And so built her holy city there. But that was long ago. The city is a ruin now. It has become a dark place with areas best left undisturbed. What kind of areas? We should avoid the crypt of heroes. I saw enough angry dead there to fill nine lifetimes. Kasura and I barely escaped with our lives. We will enter through the inner courtyard and avoid it entirely. Now come. Time waits for no man. How much are you willing to bet that we're going to go to this area of champions or whatever he was talking about? Uh, so how do we break this ward? The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the divines. We must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the ring of Stendar's mercy should open the vault doors. Sounds like a plan then. Let's go. Open the door. 
Or the portal, I should say. Thank you, thank you. Portal to Sankator. I guess I should have let him finish his sentence, huh? Oops. Wait, why is everyone facing that way, not this way? Come on, Bastion. It's just me and you, I suppose. Damn straight. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Tharn. Up, Tharn. <laughs> <laughs> Abner, nobody freaking likes you, dude. It's okay. I like you. Maybe not so much personality-wise, but game-wise, you're freaking awesome, dude. You're hilarious. I would not be able to talk to you in real life, though. I would probably punch you in the throat. But hey, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> it's kind of funny that nobody likes him. He's like, Abner, shut up. Oh, there he is. Man of Marco. How did you find this place? <coughs> Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every move? Oh. Sky, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Molag Thor, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Bar. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Thar. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the Amulet of Kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! I don't think you will. The Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the divines. You mean your ward of Stendar, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. We'll see about that. Talk to Sai Sahan. Hey, buddy, what happened, bro? And the Marco has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. We did. So we must re reach the amulet first, right? Menemarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. We may not be able to follow for some time. How do we get to the shrines? We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Okay then, let's go. Go to Sacred Inner Chamber. He has to be. I have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <laughs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find if you say so. I find that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously over... Oh, I really thought it was just going to be one of those doors that open. Through that gate lies the Crypt of Heroes. Can enter if you wish, <clears throat> but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. I do want to go in there, but I want to see what's up here first. Wait. I'm kind of... I'm kind of curious. This goes somewhere. Okay, screw it. We're going in. My curiosity is getting the best of me. What a necromancer is about. Your curiosity will be your undoing. Rise up, fallen heroes. If you say so. Get out of here. Kamehameha. I thought it was gonna be my undoing, there, bruh. Go get them, guys. Dude, it's like five of us. Did 
They literally don't stand a chance. He said that. What's the point of this place, though? I don't know. I legitimately don't know the point of this place. I think this is just a place to go just for XP. Hello. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh god, something just went in my eye. Pretty sure it's lotion and now it's burning. Ah. Okay, now my eyes in tears. It's okay. It's okay, we'll get through this together. How in the world did I get lotion in my eye? That's what I really want to know. I think I'm making it worse by rubbing it in because my hands have lotion too. Dude, you just scared me. Oh, this is a battleground if I ever saw one. Oh, hello. Assistant, aren't you? Yep. Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the amulet? The king is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Molag Ball from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. Oh! With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. <laughs> Forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. There's no way. The god of schemes will have a new name. Manimbaka. There is no way he defeated Molag Ball. Well, this guy's tough. One more time. I I don't have any more magicka. Thank you, thank you. I'm coming for you. What? That didn't kill her? Oh, I think it was just a little bit of lag. I think I would like him even less as a god. Wait, I got a ring of Stendar's mercy? Why do I have two of these? Also, the boots that I'm wearing are broken. This one's Divines. They're both Divines. But because it's broken, it doesn't do anything. So let me see, Ring of Stendar's Mercy. Uh, this bears the sigil of Stendar, God of the Righteous Might. So it's a quest item. So this is the ring that leads to the Amulet of Kings, right? So we're ahead of Manny Marco. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did it continue to the inner courtyard? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through it all over again. Yay, me. <clears throat> Hopefully they're all still dead. Probably not, but still. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, this is where we saw Man and Marco. The first time. This place has a really neat environment, doesn't it? Like, neat as in cool. Okay, so last time we went that way, and there was nothing there. 
At least not that I saw. So inner chamber, we're supposed to go to the inner circle? Or the inner courtyard? So I... I made a wrong turn. Yeah, because I went this way. Oh, that's just an exit. Got me some gold, though. Could always use some gold. I hear some water. The environmental... Uh, audio is pretty nice. <clears throat> okay, so we're... Are you alright? Are you alright? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. Yeah. I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I, I just need a moment to catch my breath. They gotta be in love. You need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. <laughs> He's such an ass. <laughs> hey, Sai, how you doing, man? Sets tears. I thought I could handle this. Wait, hold on. Optional talk to Lyris. I'm gonna talk to her first. You better keep an eye on me. I'm getting ready to punch Thorn again. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is so feisty. I love her, man. She's. She's probably my favorite. Other than Tharn. Tharn is my favorite only because he's an ass and he's funny. But in personality wise, I think I like her the best. Uh, better keep an eye on me. I'm getting ready to punch Tharn again. Okay, is Sai going to be alright? Sai Sahan is nothing if not determined. He once told me that achieving victory is like wrestling an ogre. You don't quit when you're tired. You quit when the ogre is tired. You'll see this through. Don't worry. I'm not sure if I understand that analogy, but okay. Uh, what about you? Me? I'll chase my animal <clears throat> to the furthest corners of oblivion if I have to. Vengeance is a powerful motivator. And I don't know if you've realized it yet, but under this hardened shell, I'm an optimistic fool who'd take a blade for any one of you. She's sweet. She's hard. Like, she's, she's tough, but she's sweet. Under all that toughness, there's a huge heart. I like that's why I like her, man. She's she's complex enough to be very interesting, and I I think. Uh, do you think Sai will ever talk about what happened in the halls of torment? We're two of a kind, stoic. Isn't that what people call us? Our hearts are connected, but we don't talk about our feelings. We don't even understand them ourselves. Maybe we'll talk about it someday, but today is not that day. Got you. They do love each other, man. You could you could tell. Even if it's not like in a romantic sense, there's a certain level of admiration between the two that could potentially turn romantic, I think. Sets tears. I thought I could handle this. And the Marco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. Are you going to be all right, man? I've pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. When the Marco filled my head with shattered memories, they're like broken glass. With every beat of my heart, they stab into me. Damn. Well, take a moment and catch your breath there, brother. years on end he never broke my will but he broke something will you be able to make it through this I we have to know this answer I will make it through this my friend thank you I did not endure years of torture in the halls of torment only to give up now <sighs> my pain has subsided let us make haste and finish this he is one of the toughest people in this game Exclamation mark, period. <laughs> Both. Okay. He's... He's really tough. Uh, where do we go from here, then? We must consecrate <clears throat> two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred. 
must take care to respect their resting place. All right, sounds like a plan. Let's go. Dude, your sword is like way bigger than mine. It's the three of us have two-handed swords. And he has an axe and then Bastion has a sword and shield. He's got literally a sword and board, so it's like... We're pretty well-rounded. Hold on, what's... Time out, guys. What's over here? Oh, I think we're probably gonna have to go into each... Uh, I guess corner and we're probably gonna start here first, maybe? I don't- I don't know. Dragon Guard Tomb. I like how it's all of us together, dude. It's literally all the companions. It's pretty epic. The shrine is on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen oh, no. from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them and their life. I can't even hear Sai. He's talking, but I can't hear him. Is that everybody? Yeah, we're like walking through these guys because they're not that tough. I think we went full circle. I gotta get back. Haha. -ha. Wait, is there another one? There is. Hey, what's up, brother? Haha! -ha. This makes... I, w I will say this. A hybrid build is kind of tough to play because of the sustainability. It's like you gotta pace yourself with your abilities otherwise you're... Am I going the right way? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Yeah, because uh... It, it drains quick because you don't have you have half it, you know what I mean That's the last of them. Like To put it to retrospect I put in prismatic that raises my max magicka health and stamina not to mention the uh, divines on everything and Twice born is a part of the twice born so it increases Health, Magicka, and Stamina, and it gives me two uh, Mundus Stones, right? For this one, which I put the Thief and the Lover, which is Penetration and Spell, uh, Weapon and Spell Critical. So not only am I doing a little bit of more damage, but my I, I focus heavily on sustainability only because that problem. And even with that, it's all like that, by the way. Oh, and by the way, the other thing I have, uh, New Moon Acolyte, which is, again... It, this is just to help me with damage and it, sh it the damage side is fine uh, but what I'm getting problems with is <clears throat> again sustainability it's very hard to sustain so it's uh this is my only hybrid character so I gotta get used to it you know but it's fun when it works it works Awesome. <clears throat> so now we just leave, right? Yeah, okay, we leave. Let's just jump down and head this way. Everyone should still be dead, so this should it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Yeah, so now I'm pretty sure we're going to go into one of the other corridors. The inner courtyard. You certainly did a thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? <laughs> I think a mattress would probably be the most dangerous place to put it. Realistically. The second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reaching it. A puzzle of sorts. I do not recall its solution. That, thank you, Sai. Thank you. The moment we need it is the moment- Whoa, what the hell? Dude, why are you standing so close and staring at me? That's kind of creepy. What does it say? On the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered. 
Oh no. It's a puzzle. I guess I gotta play the guessing game. game. Come on. I'll guess it eventually. I don't know what the solution is here. Um... I'm telling you, I'm gonna get this eventually. Somehow. Wait. They're all facing the same way. You did it. Oh! Nice! That was a lot harder than I thought, but hey, whatever, I, got, I still got it nonetheless. Here goes the second one. Shrine to the Divines. Can't help you here, buddy. Beseech you to lower your wards and grant us safe passage into the vault of kings. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, see, that's a perfect example of when it works. It, it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's really really good But light attack weaving becomes very very difficult. I, I think I think the biggest problem with my build specifically is um, I need something that increases my My sustainability I do have this right here that helps with the magic aside but Even then it's still not enough I probably should utilize that more though. Let's get closer. Who knows? Maybe that's the answer to my question and I should you I should swap bars a lot more often. Dank corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a rift and brothel. It must feel very much like home to you, Titan. You mean a crypt filled with the rotting corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? <laughs> must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. <laughs> more pleasant in the summer months. God, these guys are literally just bumping heads. That's that's excellent. Okay, this is the final room out of this courtyard. So I wonder what's going to be in here. Continue to the vault. Uh, to the vault. Antechamber. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but whatever. Well, this looks like a battle. Your pathetic efforts will not succeed. The amulet of kings will be mine. grace the sword of my father. You will not win, Marco. Soon. You Whoa. will know the extent of my power and oh, bow wait. before me. The Dude, all the factions are here. I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Manny Marco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Manny Marco. We'll fight you to our last breath. By me, my own friends. Try and stop me. It's just a vision, isn't it? Victory is cool. worse. I think he juked me. What's up?
Okay, yeah, this is we're All's going well so far. Kamehameha! I love that move. Vampire's Bane, I think it's what it's called. Nice. Oh, it's you again. Let's go! You're donezo! He did not stand a chance. Nobody ever does. Cause we're- we're- We're just OP. Kind of. Not really. But yes. I think you dropped your hand there, buddy. Might want to pick it up. By the way, I do want to say, since I started the guild, it's grown to 70 members and it's growing quickly. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. There it is. The door to the Vault of Kings. So, what do I need to do? The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now you must use the Ring of Stendar's mercy to open the vault doors. Um, how? Stand in the casting circle and direct the Ring of the Doors to lift the ward. The door should open wide. Alright, I'm ready. So stand here, Ring of Stendar's mercy. Oh, I was about to say it didn't work. I can see it from here. I can't. Oh, it's a battle. Defeat Manny Marco. Did I just miss? I think I did. Come here. What are you doing? No, come here. Will you like stop moving? Come back here. Obey me. I hate how much this dude moves. Focus on Marco. That's what I'm trying to do here, there, buddy. Come on, buddy, let's go. Oh, he... Oh, I got him. In a weird way, but I got him. Yes. He's merely a transition. My first step towards true immortality. Now witness my true power. Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood. Mom. You think you can betray the Lord of Brutality and Domination Is that... the consequence? Oh, snap! It's more like Ball! You will pay for your arrogance. You will cry in agony for the rest of eternity. Your tortured screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others. Whoop! He screwed. So, I guess we're getting the Amulet of Kings? Dude, that looks so cool. Everything Manny Marco did was designed to pit us against each other. We can't let that happen. Look what we can accomplish when we work together. How uncharacteristically optimistic of you, Titanfall. I may have that embroidered on too. The Divines gave you a nose for a reason, Tharn. So you can keep your mouth shut and still keep breathing. <laughs> well played, Titanfall. Well played. So is that it? Return to the Harbridge? Dude, we defeated Man and Marco and then he got devoured by Molag's bald. <laughs> Mr. Prophet Man is gonna be excited to know that we got the Amulet of Kings. 
It is done. The Amulet of Kings is ours once again. That is correct, yes. And Man Marco's defeated, by the way. Man Marco will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. One cannot out scheme the god of schemes without paying a heavy price. I cannot imagine the <sighs> torment that awaits him. Uh what do we do now? Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Molog Bal is still a great threat, and the plane melt must be stopped, or this will all be for naught. And my soul? I have not forgotten, Vestige. It is another piece of the puzzle, and we shall address it in due time. But for now, let us rest and recover. As always, I will contact you soon. Walk in the light, Vestige. Sounds like a plan. Whoop whoop! Completed Shadow of Sacretor. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So everything is going in our favor now. Literally everything is going in our favor.